Let's talk about branding. Are you a real estate agent doing posts on social media and you're wanting to ensure that your brand is recognizable and memorable? Well, this video, we're gonna cover a couple tips so that when you're creating your post graphics for social media, your branding is at a maximum. Your branding is on par, your branding is memorable. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is colors. Now, I always recommend people work with a few different colors that they consistently use. They don't have to use it in the exact same way every time, but use those colors in your posts so that when you do post on social media, the branding, as in the colors you choose, will become recognizable to people over time. The other thing you need to focus on is your logo and the logo placement. So having your logo on some of your social media posts will help bring that recognition. Now, some realtors do this in a different way. Some will have a headshot, some will have an actual logo. Whatever approach you take, it doesn't need to be the exact same way in the exact same place on every post, but using different images, using your own colors, all of that adds to being recognizable over time. Now, I do wanna do one bit of caution. I, I wanna give you one little tip about, about this. If you do your posts in the exact same way every time, let's say you're always doing a sold post where you've got a picture and you've got a big you know, box around with, with a word that says sold. If you do that the same way over time, every time, it looks the exact same. And when you do a post like that, because it's not different, everybody's going to start to see it in their feed and they'll think it's the same post over and over again. You need to stand out. While being branding and, and unique is important so that you're memorable, if you do post every single time in the exact same way, they don't stand out one from another. So always consider different ways that you can do that. And I see, as an example with these sold posts, I see people do them in different ways where sometimes you will have an overlay with the word sold. Sometimes you'll have it done in a different design or different graphic. Sometimes you might just show pictures of the, the uh, property with the word sold in the corner. So doing it in a different way helps to ensure that they're still branded and they still look very much that they're your posts, but it doesn't have to be in the exact same way every single time. Testimonials, that's commonly another area where I see people making a little bit of a mistake, where they do a testimonial in the exact same way, the exact same format every single time. That doesn't make the post stand out one from another. While your unique look, maybe it's your signature, again, your headshot or your or your logo may appear on that, if it's done in the same way with the same color every single time and you're repeatedly doing that, it's not gonna stand out to be something that's new and different. So I always recommend just, you know, have two to three different templates that you can use for these style of posts so that you can change things up a little bit over time. This also helps you test things because you can test one graphic versus another and see what maybe gets a little bit more engagement or a little bit more reach or a little bit more, more comments or likes. So always focus on creating your brand and using your brand consistently, but do little things to make your posts unique so that they do stand out, they do get noticed, and they do look a little bit different from one to the other. That's my tip. Again, my name is Lowell Brown. I'm from Going Social. Be sure to like and subscribe this video. I hope you found the content valuable and helpful. And if you subscribe, you'll get notified when I release my next videos. And again, I'm here to help you with all your different marketing tips. My name is Lowell Brown from Going Social, and I'll include a couple links in the show notes below so that you can check out some other videos related to this one that may be of interest in helping you with your digital marketing for your real estate business. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.